Hello everyone. This week's parsha is Parashat Vayera. In the middle of the parsha, the Torah gives us out the story that Sarai Menu gets taken again by a king. Last week was taking, she was taken taking by Paro. This week, Avimelech took her. So what Avimelech thought that he was taking her? He thought that she's not married. She's Avraham Avinu's sister, because that's what Avraham Avinu told her to say, that she's his sister. So he took her, he wanted to marry her, and in the middle of the night, the Kodesh came to the dream, he said, Avimelech, why did you take Sarah? She's married. He said, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. So he comes up to Avraham Avinu, he says, Avraham Avinu, why did you lie to me? You told me that this lady, Sarah, is your sister. You're a liar. She's your wife. Why do you lie to me? So Avraham's answering Avimelech and he's saying like this. He says, I knew this place has no fear of God. And because of that, if I will tell, him, tell you guys that she's my wife, you guys are going to kill me. So I said she's my sister and you won't kill me. That's what Avraham Avinu said. Al dvar rak ki amarti rak en irat elokim amakom aze v'arguni al dvar ishti. The Malvim says a very important idea in this pasuk. He says something like this. He says that the person, even if he will be a very smart person, he will be a lawyer, he will be a doctor, he will be a very smart person, he will be a, I don't know, maybe even a Tamid Chacham, he will be a very smart person. He did studying a lot, his IQ is very high, but when he's going to get to the point that he will have a fight if the eight zero, if the even inclination, he will have a fight if it's Taibos. So nothing will stop him, even if he's very smart, because all his thoughts will machshir, will make this Taiva kosher, because the Taiva is very, very hard. It's hard to, to, to deal with the Taiva. The only thing that could stop the person, the Taiva, is fear of God, Yirat Shamayim. There's a lot of stories, very smart people that did a very not nice stuff. Because if you have no Yirat Shamayim, nothing could stop you from the Yetzirah. Nothing. If you have no Yirat Shamayim, nothing could stop you. The only thing that could stop you is Yirat Shamayim. Because you're scared from, God, from Hashem. You're scared from doing the sin. You're scared from the punishment you'll get back from Hashem afterwards. That's the only thing that could stop you from making the Avera. So that's what Abraham Avinu told Avimelech. There's no Yirat Shamayim. Even you're, you're a king. Avimelech is a king. He's a smart person. He's a king. How did he this, do this thing? This, this lady came over. He just took her. Even by the Goyim, it's not something st uh, standard. It's not normal to do this. So he had a taiva. He had a taiva. He couldn't stop himself. Because he had no Yirat Shamayim. No fear of God in that place. That's what Abraham Avinu told him. If there's no fear of God, I'm scared you guys are going to kill me. That's why I lied to you guys. Bezrat Hashem, we all have a good Shabbos and Shalom Lekulam.